I've always thought of myself as an academically strong student. So when I first joined this class, I was a little surprised that I felt challenged. So my name is Stacy Ladd. I am a physical therapist and an EMT by training. Our class is rigorous and has a good reputation. We do a great job with the college credits. Students graduate with about 17 college credits typically. I'm Monica Beard Raymond. I'm one of the co-teachers at the Health Sciences Academy. It is a challenging program, both academically and also with critical thinking skills. We implemented the option for second semester seniors to choose a pathway between phlebotomy and EMT training. Both national certifications, both entry-level positions. We're gonna be certified as EMTs, which is kind of crazy to think about, only being 18 and already like being an EMT. You know, before the Health Sciences Academy, I didn't really think that was a possibility. It's quite an amazing transformation from when they come in a little anxious and unsure, and they leave really confident and ready to contribute. We send students out to different areas in healthcare to give them sort of a broad education of what it looks like to be a healthcare worker. They'll be at the birthing center watching births. They'll be in the ambulance responding to rescue calls. They'll be in outpatient therapy clinics. They'll be in inpatient therapy clinics. They'll be on nursing floors. Really every aspect of healthcare. We got to go to UVM Medical Center and we got to shadow multiple different types of like people in different units of the hospital. It was super eye-opening. Our students have to work really hard to get here in the first place, um, and so they're really invested in what we're doing and what they're doing. This class is different than just joining a regular science class at high school because it's a community where you meet every single day practically, and you have the same two teachers throughout the course of two years, so you really get that special bond. We have to build enough community that they know they're really in a safe place and then take the risk, right? And by taking that risk and then reaping that reward, that allows them to set the bar higher for the next challenge. The community here was really supportive, especially the teachers and my peers, in making sure that I was able to fully understand the material and able to practice what I learned. We have various units like the lung system, the heart system, and whenever we have a unit like that, we go ahead and do our dissection along with it. So you basically see in person what you're learning on the screen. So we have students two hours and 15 minutes five days a week for two years. But they also then still have that connection of a half day at their home school and all of the stuff that goes on there. They kind of get the best of both worlds. So they get to know each other and they also get to know themselves. By the end of the program, they also gain a family. Growing to high school is just down the street. I just walk down here. It's just a part of my schedule that's now a routine. This place has really helped me like discover what I wanted to do. And I was able to land on nursing. As long as you have a passion for science and motivation, I think that's all you need. <laughs> to learn more about our application process and programs, visit Burlington Technical Center today at btc.bsdvt.org.